Okay, this afternoon we're working on the governor on this steam engine. Uh, I'm not real sure what this governor is off of. I spoke about that earlier. Maybe somebody will know and can post it in the comment section. But somebody's obviously been working on this governor. These pins right here have been replaced and after inspecting the governor these pins just slip right out they pinned one end over so they wouldn't go clear through but I would imagine they were figuring on pinning the other end over so they would they would stay in there but I don't believe a fella would want them fly balls coming out of there if these pins come out. So what I did is is make some new shafts to hold those fly balls in there. And right here's the new shafts. And I didn't think just pinning the end of that over looked very good. It's a real nice looking governor. So I made some brass acorn nuts that will thread on these shafts here. It was kind of tedious to make these but it's going to make it look a lot nicer. Then what I'll do is install these. I've already had them in there. They fit, fit real well. <clears throat> and I'm going to install these shafts put the acorn nuts on with a little bit of Loctite on the threads so that it ensures that those don't come out of there. I don't think this governor is going to spin that fast but we still don't want that to come out. Everything on this is kind of an odd size. I had to turn these down to one point three three or point one three three rather and this I turned down to point one two five which is the correct major diameter for a five forty thread and that's what I threaded these at five forty. So this is point one three three and point one two five eighth inch. I didn't have any stock that was real close to that so I kind of rummaged around here and sure enough a 16 penny sinker was almost the right size. It was oversized which that's what I was looking for. So <laughs> that's what I used a 16 penny sinker to turn these down to make them shafts. Also this governor when the fella brought it over had this this elbow on here in a, in a steel 3H pipe elbow. I didn't think that looked very well. So we're gonna put this brass fitting on and this is also brass. It's a little different color. I, this is probably a casting. I'm not real sure but the color is different on this brass and I, I bought this locally but it's pretty sad I was inspecting it on account of the difference in the color and I'm not sure if this will show up or not but right there you can see China it's too bad that we have to buy our brass fittings from China now and that's probably why the, there's a difference in the color but that's what we have to have to deal with now also on the bottom of this governor this coupling was installed on the engine just a steel pipe coupling and I didn't think that looked very good either 
I didn't have any brass stock large enough to make a brass coupling with so I turned this out of aluminum it, it didn't turn out too bad aluminum is pretty easy to work with another thing that this governor is a little bit odd these flats aren't the same distance apart you can see here that's a little bit wider and they're all a different different so a regular wrench would not not fit that on all six sides so I put it in a, uh, a collet block to, to turn these flats so that it would index we got it threaded on here. So it would index with the uh, the flats on the governor. I'm going to make a thin gasket to go in here to seal that up. But I believe that looks a little nicer. Than that pipe coupling with all this exposed here. So that was kind of a fun project. Not necessary for it to, to operate, but this is such a nice looking outfit. I want to slick it up as much as I can. I believe the governor will be okay. I tested it under air, raised the balls up and down, and it works. The valve in here works. One other thing on the governor, there's some small set screws. You can see one of them right there. And it looks like they've just put a screw in there and cut the head of it off. So I don't know what's going on there, but I'm going to replace those with the correct set screw. These collars adjust the travel of the valve. So I'm sure we'll have to fool around with that when we actually get this thing running. Right there you can see the the ball not attached to the governor. We get all this put back together, I'm going to start working on the drive. I've been thinking about this and I'm going to make some aluminum pulleys and use a round belt to drive the governor from the engine. We'll try it. It's kind of an experiment, but I don't believe this flat belt pulley, especially the smaller diameter it is, that's going to slip because it's not a very long distance between the crankshaft and the governor shaft. The, the fellow that, that this belongs to thought maybe about putting an idler pulley in there and that, that would be okay but I'm thinking it's going to kind of make it look clumsy. <clears throat> the belt I'm going to use is going to actually be an o-ring, a rubber o-ring. Hopefully that will grip and have enough, enough stretch to it to drive the governor. It turns pretty easy now but this is kind of an experiment. <clears throat> 